Hey everybody, this is Joe Fam coming at you with a new video. We're going to talk about how to put music onto your engine prime or to your internal drive. Uh, I just want to apologize right off the front for my audio quality and if you hear any background noise, I didn't set up any of my cameras or anything. I'm just recording strictly from my computer and just showing you a screenshot basically of how I put my music on to my external hard drive that I installed. So as I showed, uh, when you pull up your Prime 4, you're going to hold down view till you get to the source. Once you get to the source, you'll see a little computer icon on the right hand side on the top. You'll click that. You'll wait a second, I'll say looking for computer, and then it will pop up on your Prime engine, which you can see down here, which is right here. So you can see my collections. I can pop them all up. I already started doing it. Basically, I got everything on them. Just a couple more I had to add to it. Um, I do want to also guys let you know if you did plug in like an external hard drive so for my Mac users if it's um, formatted to like a Mac OS journal it'll give you an error i will say you know if it's incompatible with engine hardware please reformat to FAT32 or XFAT so if you're a Windows user I definitely recommend you formatting your hard drive to an XFAT if you're a Mac user just use FAT32 all it means with this hard external hard drive is basically I could I can't really play off the software. I can drag uh, these songs in, which I did. That's how I did all these, and then it analyzes it on the bottom. And then um, once it's done analyzing, you can then take these ones that you created over here, and you can just drag it onto the internal hard drive. So you have your other options too. You create a playlist if you like, if you choose you want to create a playlist instead of crates. I like to put everything in crates. You have uh, this a little folder that has your music and your volumes, but this is for Serato users. So if you have all your music already on Serato, you just hit this update Serato. I had this originally before my hard drive crashed, but it'll pull all your folders that you had on your Serato and I'll load them all right here and I'll analyze it. But then there's still another step after that, which is one thing I don't like about Prime is after you do this whole process with the update Serato, you have to take that and put that into new crates for the engine prime so it can reanalyze it for the engine prime way. So you could it's kinda like a two step process, so it takes a very long time. That's one thing I wasn't so fine with the software because when you hit updates around a library, if you have a lot of songs, it will take forever. And then after that it takes forever just to do that. Then you'll take ever again just to recreate and basically do that whole process again. That's what I had to do for the first time, but I don't have my music back up on my Serato no more since my hard drive crashed and now I'm just doing it off of a backup of a hard drive that I found. But basically it's simple as that. So I'm just gonna show you basically how it works. I just finally got all my music that I already originally had. Um, I updated my music so much since then, but I still have my main collection. So basically if you take a collection, I'll just take one that's small so it'll be quick. You would physically drag it into the collection in your prime. You'll then see it on the bottom here that'll reanalyze all those tracks. So it'll take a long time for certain ones, but it'll pop up in your collection. So boom, there it is. We just, you know, put that onto the external drive. It's done. So once you have your files already analyzed on here, it's easier just to convert it. And you can see it takes a while when you have a lot. I do, I can show you one really kind of quick. It's going to probably take forever longer than this video. But if I drag another one into my collection, that has a lot more songs, it's gonna take a lot more longer to do. So once you know, you'll know once it's done, once it finishes the end, and then it'll show up in your collection here. So this is your main thing. Also, if you bounce between your Prime and your other thing, once you click on your other hard drive, so if you have like a flash drive or something on the top, your Prime will drop down to the bottom, which now that I'm analyzing, I really don't wanna take that risk because I don't know what's gonna happen if I do that. I mean, I guess I could try it, but I really don't want to crash any more hard drives, so maybe I'm not going to try to attempt that right now. You know what? Okay, it didn't do nothing. It's still analyzed on the bottom here. It just shows up here. Um, and then it still shows a collection. It's really weird because it still kind of shows my music regardless, even though it says it's not eligible. But I can just bring up my Prime back because it pops up in the bottom. It still goes, it's a lot quicker to put the music actually onto the internal hard drive since everything is already analyzed prior to. So once you have everything already prior to, it goes pretty quick actually to get it onto the internal drive. Like I said, it still chugs along on the bottom. 
as you can see, gradually going. Also, another thing, while that's still going, uh, people were trying to figure out how to get your logo on your uh, Dino Power 4, which I'll show you that's it's on mine right now, which is pretty cool. But basically, all I did is, if you already have your logo already made, which is great, you can just go to Canva.com, which I did, and create a design, and then you just go custom dimensions, because it has to be 600 by 600. Create new design right here, once you have this, 600 by 600, create your logo, whatever it is, you can put I put mine and then you save it to and then you name it logo.png and basically if you're a Mac user your internal hard drive will pop up as a regular icon just as you see a regular drive you'll see engine library I literally just dropped it right into engine library there it is logo.png then once I got back into my view I could perfectly see my logo with basically no issues so that works out pretty good and it was pretty easy for me I know people have issues when it comes to I guess PC versions that's a little bit more involved but once we go back here as you can see boom now my other players had just added that it was a bigger took a little bit longer but it got in there pr actually pretty quick it took longer to analyze those files prior to compared to just dropping it onto the device so when you have big folders like this one has almost 5,000 songs if I drag that into my collection here it's gonna take a while. <laughs> this is my big, one of my biggest ones I have right now, so it's gonna try doing it, and it's gonna take probably quite some time for this one. Like I said, just give it time, but it'll just keep analyzing on the bottom. But it, it does go faster than your first analyzed and on here. So just to back another recap. So if you have your Serati, you would hit the update. It basically just do the same feature. You'll see it located on the bottom. It'll go through all your Serato crates. You'll have it. It'll be listed right here. You, I, you may be able just to take this collection and then drop it right into your internal prime. I'm most positive you do that. But if you want prime to read the files right, because I think most likely, even though you're just going to save your key points and everything, if you put it through, you can do that way too directly. And it should save all your, uh, you know, all your loops and everything that you already have saved. But the only thing that it could happen is since it is a prime engine. It may try to maybe reanalyze it on the Denon Prime 4 that I'm not too positive about, so I'm not going to say that. Um, but all I know is I remember I had this, and then I reconverted to the Prime because I know that's what's going on, you know. But it still kind of kept some of my loops, I believe. Well, originally it saved it when I had my old songs from Serato. It was saving my uh, cue points, and then when I did it that way, uh, I sort of noticed some tracks still saved it. I don't know if things change now since I can't tell because I don't have my Serato songs no more, but. This is just a little quick video, so basically, yeah, you just analyze your tracks, which takes a while, but once you have it, you'll see your devices, which is right here, this little icon, thumb drive, so whatever it is, if it's a flash drive, if it's the internal hard drive on the bottom that you put in there, you'll see it on here, and then you can literally just drag these collections into this, or if you have a playlist, you can do that. And that's basically how you just do all that, you know, like logo, make sure it's 600 by 600 logo.png stick it right where it says uh, right right in the main folder with his engine library you just drop it in boom you're there you're good so I hope this video helps make sure you like comment and subscribe let me know what you guys think I want to do some more videos probably do some live mixes soon now that my music's pretty much there I mean I'm just waiting for my friend to get back recovery of all the new songs I kind of added because I added over a few hundred songs since I backed this one up. So this one's my main library, which I know I have a good amount of songs in here already. But I still have a lot of songs that I didn't get the chance to put onto this one since that's what I was trying to do before that one crashed. So hopefully I get some of the newer stuff back so I get back in here. But this one I can at least still get my practice in and still have music that I can work with in all the different genres. And I can still do even a private event with this. And of course comes to worse, just download new music when needed or connect it to a different channel to use like Spotify or such or I haven't tried a uh, title I may look into that and see how that's gonna work but that hasn't come out yet where we can do the streaming that will be coming out in the future for Denon so we'll see how it comes out and we'll do more when that comes out so once again I hope you guys like this video like comment subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one peace